This is Karen. Hey, everybody. I'm Shane. So hot. I know. Today we're looking at a lesson on translation practice, and we are going to talk about the weather we being hot and how do we cool ourselves down? Whoa. Air conditioning. That's oh. right. So, I know it's not really that good for the environment if we keep it on the whole time, but sometimes it gets really, really hot. So during the summer, be honest.、Mm -hmm. Do you sleep with the air conditioner on almost every night? Yeah. Me too. Because sometimes when it's like 35 degrees outside, or you know, it gets really, really hot,、it's, you just can't sleep. Because sleep is so important, right? You、exactly. need to be comfortable while you're sleeping. But the problem is、mm -hmm. that not only the environment is affected, so is your bank account. You are right, because it gets really, really expensive if you leave it、exactly. on the whole time. So actually, there are some solutions. Okay. There are now energy efficient air conditioners. Okay.、Right? So we had our air conditioner replaced,、mm -hmm. and our、uh, energy bill was cut in about half. <gasps> No way! So our, by that much? Yeah, because it can get really expensive if you leave the air conditioner on. Would、so、you say like two months is about? I said for two months it could have been before maybe like eight thousand NT,、mm -hmm. and after changing the air conditioner to a more energy efficient one, about three to four thousand. Oh my god! For two months, so that is cut in half. A huge difference. Wow! So it's a, a more expensive when you first purchase it. Yeah. But you will get the savings back. You are right. So everybody、Quickly. should. Quickly. People should be changing it really because, if you have it just for a few years, you already make your money back. And it's also better for the environment as well. Exactly. Okay. Ah, air conditioning. What did people do before there was air conditioning? I have no idea. They just suffered. I'm so happy there's air conditioning. <laughs> okay. Okay. Enjoy today's lesson,、right. guys. Stay cool. Translation practice. Practice A. The internet has made it easier for criminals to run scams and steal personal information. It's important to be aware of the risks of putting our data online and take measures to protect ourselves. Hi, I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Hanny. Welcome to this month's translation practice. You guys know the drill. During the translation practice lesson, we translate. We translate four Chinese sentences into perfect English. Right. Okay, everyone. Let's get started. Today, I'll read the first sentence. 网络使得罪犯更容易进行诈骗和窃取个资。那么主词是网络，动词是使得什么什么更容易。那这是在叙述从过去持续到现在的事情。我们时态用现在完成式。Okay, we are going to discuss three things from sentence number one. First up, let's talk about what it means to make it easier for criminals to do something. Make it easier for criminals to verb. If you make something easier, well, you're not producing something or creating something. You're not inventing something. You're not making something in that way. Now, if you or something makes something else easier, doing that thing is no longer as hard as it once was. It's not so hard as it once was for somebody or something. So. Let's say before the internet became big, before the internet became a part of our daily lives, stealing money might have been harder than it is now. And the internet apparently has let or allowed criminals steal money. Okay, it's let or allowed them to steal money in new and easier ways. How about that? For example, a new policy in the office. Has made it forbidden to use your cell phone on company time. 公司的新政策禁止在上班期间使用手机。这个新政策让这种行为变成是禁止的。那我们就来看这个句型 ，make 
加受词加形容词，就可以表达使某人和某事成为怎么样，变得怎么样。动词 make 在这边表示使变得、使成为。像你可以说 ，The good news made everyone happy。那个好消息让大家都很开心。那么形容词 happy 就是当受词补语去补充说明受词 everyone 的状态。好，可是这时候句型的受词如果是不定词，如果是 to 加原形动词的话，我们不能直接把它摆在 make 跟形容词之间哦，而是要虚受词 it 来代替受词的位置。然后把真正的受词 to v 移到句尾，就会形成这个句型。Make it 形容词 to 加原形动词。好，那你还可以在形容词的后面加上 for somebody 来表达对某人而言。像 Kyle's knee injury made it difficult for him to use the stairs. Kyle 的膝盖的伤呢，使他走楼梯有困难。那我们现在要翻译使得罪犯更容易怎么样？可以写作。Make it easier for criminals to 加原形动词。Okay, moving on. Next, we're going to talk about what it means to run a scam or commit a scam. Mm-hmm. The internet apparently has been good for almost everybody, crooks or criminals included. Run or commit a scam. A scam is an illegal operation. It's an illegal scheme meant to lie to people, to deceive people, and to take their money. That's what the case is here. Yeah, if you lie to someone in order to steal from them, you are running a scam. By the way, you normally run a scam, or at least that's the way people normally say that one person is scamming another. For example, that man is a fraud. He is running a scam. Whatever you do, don't give him your money. 那个男的是骗子，他还进行诈骗，你千万不要把钱交给他。好，那我们来看 scam 这个字，它可以当动词或当名词。那我们在这边学它当名词的用法，它可以指诈骗、欺诈，是当可数名词。我们就可以用 run a scam 或是 commit a scam 来表达进行诈骗。像是 those people were charged with running scams， 那些人被控告进行诈骗。那顺便补充一下，刚刚 Jam 老师有说到 crook c r o o k 这个字，它可以用来指。骗子，那在口语里面也可以用来指坏蛋。那我们这边再学一个字是 fraud， f r a u d， fraud 可以指骗子或是诈骗。那么当诈骗来解释时，它是当不可数名词来用。像我们可以说 commit insurance fraud， 就是说进行保险诈骗。Okay， the internet is pretty great， but who would have thought that someone would try to use the internet to do something bad？ Why would anyone want to scam others on the internet? Well, I can't answer your question from experience. I have heard, though, that people run internet scams in order to steal people's personal information、mm. or data. Steal personal information or data. Your personal information or data is information or data about you that no one else should know. Your credit card number, for instance, is a piece of personal information. The same goes for your government ID number, your computer passwords, etc. Now, some people try to steal or they try to take without permission your personal information or your data because they can use this information to make a quick buck. Yeah, they can take money from your bank account, let's say, or charge things to your credit card. If they steal your pieces of personal information, for example, don't click on that suspicious link. If you do, you might get a virus that will steal your personal information. 哎，不要点击那个可疑的链接，点了可能会中毒，会被窃取个资哦。好 ，steal personal information 或者是 steal personal data 是指窃取个资、盗窃个人资料。其中的 information 它是不可数名词，然后 data 或是念作 data， 它本身是复数名词，所以我们这两个名词的字尾都不用加 s。例如， somebody hacked into their server to steal their customers。Personal information. 有人害入骇客那种害进去他们的伺服器，窃取顾客的个人资料。好，那么现在看相关文法重点，可以翻译整个句子喽。So the sentence could be: The internet has made it easier for criminals to run scams and steal personal information.
Anyways, folks, sentence number one is now in the past. Let's go ahead and move on to sentence number two. 好，今天要翻译的第二个句子是：意识到把我们的资料放在网络上的风险，并采取措施保护自己是很重要的。那这个句子我们可以用动名词当主词，你可以说 being aware of 什么什么 is important 来表达。那你也可以用句型 it's important to be aware of 什么什么来表达，都可以。那这句是在陈述事实，所以时态用现在式。Everyone, hang in there, okay? It's almost time for a break. So yeah, hang in there. Hey, when times are tough, after all, it's important to soldier on, to hang in there. It's important to verb. Now the phrase "it's important to do something" is often used when emphasizing something. Here, the adjective "important" is used for emphasis, but you could have used another similar adjective in its place. For instance, I could say, "It's important to work hard." Now, just then, I said that working hard is important, but I stress the whole importance part. You see, for example, it is crazy to only sleep four hours every night. 每天晚上都只睡四个小时，哇！这件事情太疯狂、太夸张，这样身体迟早会出问题。那我们来学这个句型 ，it's 加形容词加不定词，也就是加 to 加原形动词。那像这样的句型就可以表达说做某事是怎么样怎么样的。那这个 it 是虚主词，我们真正的主词是句尾那个不定词片语，所以你要表达什么什么是很重要的，就可以写作 it's important。To 加原形动词，像是 It's important to maintain a balanced diet. 维持均衡饮食是很重要的。Well, only four hours of sleep every night. That is crazy. Do you actually know someone who only sleeps four hours a night? I do. This person <gasps> is aware of the fact that getting only four hours of sleep every night is bad for him. It's bad. But he won't change his sleep-deprived ways. He thinks that sleep is a waste of time. Oh, and、uh, speaking of being aware, be aware of noun or verb ing. My friend knows that being sleep-deprived, not getting enough sleep, is not good for him. He knows this, but he does it anyway. He is aware of this fact. He is conscious of it. Yes, if you are aware of something, you know about it. You have been informed of it. Okay, so on and so forth. You can say many other things. But back to my friend, he knows better than to sleep only four hours a night. But he still chooses to act in this silly, silly way. For example, I am aware of the dangers of traveling to that country. But I've got a thirst for adventure. 有时候啊，人就是会想冒险，即使你有意识到危险性，可是还是想去做。那么 be aware of 就表示知道、意识到、察觉到。后面可以接名词或动名词，也可以接 that 子句。那我们就来造两个例句。He had been aware of his illness for quite a while. 他知道自己生病已经有好一阵子了。They are aware that their business has been bad lately. 他们有察觉到最近生意一直都很差。Okay, break time is around the corner. After the next discussion, we'll be able to take a nice long break. Okay, let's move on to the next explanation of our lesson. Take measures to protect ourselves. If we take measures, we do something. We act in order to achieve a goal. So, if a person takes measures, they do things. They take steps to change something, to make a difference, or to affect something. Very simply, if we take measures to protect ourselves, we do things to keep ourselves safe or to prevent something bad from hurting us. For example, if we don't take measures to protect ourselves. This typhoon could ruin our way of life. 
遇到台风来袭，我们必须采取措施来保护自己。那么 take measures to protect ourselves， 就是说采取措施保护我们自己。其中这个 take measures 就表示采取措施。Measures 在这边固定用复数形哦。那我们后面可以接 to 加原形动词，像是 They called on the government to take stronger measures to reduce air pollution。他们呼吁政府要采取更有力的措施来减少空气污染的问题。好，那现在已经看完相关文。法重点可以翻译整个句子喽。So the sentence could be. It's important to be aware of the risks of putting our data online and take measures to protect ourselves. Okay, folks. As promised, it is now time for a break. Mhm.、Mm、But don't go away. We'll be back with the second half of this month's translation practice lesson after this. Translation practice. Practice B. As the weather becomes hotter, most people will rely on air conditioning to keep cool. However, this can cause our electricity expenses to soar and contribute to global warming. Welcome back. Let's get started on the second half of this month's translation practice lesson. Hanny, please. Tell us all about sentence number three. Okay, 今天要翻译的第三句是：随着天气变得越来越热，大多数的人会靠冷气来保持凉爽。那主词是大多数的人，动词是会靠。那么这句是在陈述事实，所以时态是现在简单式。Okay, our first explanation for sentence number three has to do with weather. As the weather becomes hotter, here the word. As tells us that something is happening or is ongoing. You could say that something, like a situation here, is developing.、Mm. But what's going on in this phrase? Well, we're saying that the weather isn't hot yet. Oh, but it's getting there. Perhaps it's springtime, and warm days, on average, are taking the place of cold ones. If that's the case, you could say. As the weather becomes hotter, da da da, but that's not a full sentence, is it? What is going on while or as the weather is getting hotter? That's what we'd express in a clause, either preceding or following this phrase. For example, as the weather grew colder, more and more trees shed their leaves. 随着天气变得越来越冷，许多树都开始落叶了。那么 ，as the weather becomes hotter 表示随着天气变得越来越热。as 在这边是当连接词，表示随着怎么样怎么样。那么 ，become 我们可以也换成这个其他连缀动词，像是 grow 或者是 get， 它们都可以表达出变得怎么样。至于形容词比较级，你也可以改成 warmer 叫温暖的 ，colder 叫冷的等等。例如 ，as the weather gets warmer。People tend to spend more time outdoors. 随着天气越来越暖和，人们往往会花更多的时间待在户外。Well, as the weather gets hotter, I tend to get happier and happier. You see, I really dislike cold weather. Me too. That being said, I also dislike hot weather. Yeah, when it gets really hot, I tend to stay indoors and. Crank up the AC. Yeah, without AC, I probably wouldn't survive Taiwan's summers. I wouldn't make it. Yeah. So you're saying that you rely on air conditioning to keep cool? Precisely. Okay. Precisely. Rely on air conditioning to keep cool. Me, I rely on air conditioning or AC during the summer. I depend on it. And would probably not survive without it. I'd be hot and sweaty and unable to sleep without AC to keep me cool. I.e., the cooled air from my AC it keeps me from getting too hot. Anyway, to rely on something is to depend on that thing. Without that thing, you couldn't survive, or your life would just be more difficult than it needs to be. For example, in Chicago. 
People rely on their heaters to keep warm during the long winters. 嗯，芝加哥的冬天又冷又漫长，人们都是靠暖气来保暖。好，那么 rely on air conditioning to keep cool 是指靠冷气来保持凉爽。那这边有三个重点。第一个 ，air conditioning 它是指空调系统或是冷气，简称 AC。那它是不可数名词。至于 air conditioner 则是可数名词来表达冷气机。好，第二个重点，片语动词 rely on 或是 rely。Upon 后面可以接人或事物来表达依靠啊、仰赖、倚仗什么什么的，像是依靠某人帮助啊、支持等等。例如 ，Some parents rely on tablets and smartphones to babysit their children. 有些父母啊靠平板电脑和智慧型手机来当保姆照顾小孩。那第三个重点 ，keep cool 表示保持凉爽，像是 On a hot summer day. He likes to go for a swim to keep cool. 炎炎夏日，他喜欢去游泳来保持凉爽。好，那现在已经学会相关文法，重点可以翻译整个句子喽。So the sentence could be: As the weather becomes hotter, most people will rely on air conditioning to keep cool. Okay, folks, I'm so excited. You see, it is now time to begin discussing the final sentence of today's lesson. Yeah. 好，今天要翻译的第四个句子是。然而，这会导致我们的电费飙涨，并且导致全球暖化。好，句子主词是这，动词是会导致，后面还有一个导致，所以会有两个动词，我们用 and 来连接。那这句是在承接上一句，也是在陈述事实，所以时态用现在简单式。You're excited? Well, you're not alone. I'm I'm excited too, Hanny. Why? Because we're almost done. Yeah. Yeah. The second to last explanation of our lesson is. Cause our electricity expenses to soar. Now, there's one very bad thing about relying on AC, paying for it. Yes, whenever I run the AC, I use electricity, and electricity is not free. You have to pay for it. In fact, I get a bill every month from the electric company telling me how much I need to pay. For the electricity I've used, this bill is my electricity bill. It details my electricity expenses. Now, in the summer, the amount I need to pay for electricity goes way up. It goes way up, or it soars because I'm now using the AC. Whereas in other months, I did not. Yes, my summer AC use causes my electricity expenses to soar. Or leads to, or contributes to, or results in soaring electricity expenditures for me. I.e., this is the reason I spend more on electricity in the summer months. For example, his poor health caused his absenteeism rate at work to soar. 啊，他的健康状况不佳，造成工作的缺勤率提高。那我们可以用 absent 来形容这个缺席的，就要老师用到这个 absenteeism， 就表示缺勤、缺课是当名词。好，那我们要表达说导致我们电费飙涨呢，英文可以说 cause our electricity expenses to soar。那这边有三个重点，第一个电费的英文是 electricity bill 或者是 electricity expense。那么第二个重点。Cause somebody or something to 加原形动词，就是说导致某人或某事物怎么样怎么样。那我们要表达导致、造成，除了用 cause， 也可以用 lead to、result in， 或者是用片语 contribute to。contribute to 它后面加上名词或动名词，也可以表达说导致怎么样、造成怎么样，或者促成什么什么。例如 ，poor sleep quality can contribute to weight gain。睡眠品质不好可能会导致体重增加。那第三个重点 ，soar 在这边是当动词来表达骤升、猛涨、突然升高这样子，常用来指金钱或价格。那我们也可以用 go up 来表达。好，举例来说 ，home prices have soared to new heights recently. 最近房价飙到新高。Okay, good news, everyone. It is now time to make the final explanation of the day.、Mm, that is good news. I have some bad news though. <gasps> Experts think that global warming is for real. Global warming. The world, everyone, is getting hotter because of human beings. Humans burn way too much coal and gasoline, and this is causing average temperatures on planet Earth 
to rise. We need to stop burning these fossil fuels. So how can you do so? Well, take the bus, take the MRT, reuse, recycle, cut down on waste, etc. Also, use less electricity. Me, I'm going to have to stop relying so much on AC in the summer. Really? Uh, it'll be tough, but it will also be worth it. For example, Climate change is occurring in the form of global warming. 好，这一例就是说啊，气候变迁正在以全球暖化的形式发生着。那么气候变迁英文是 climate change， 那么全球暖化英文则是 global warming。好，我们来造个例句。Do you believe that human activities are the major cause of global warming？ 你认为人类活动是造成全球暖化的主因吗？好，那么现在看完相关文法重点，可以翻译整个句子喽。So the sentence could be。However, this can cause our electricity expenses to soar and contribute to global warming. Okay, everyone. With that, this month's translation practice lesson is now in the books.、Mm -hmm. Anyway, we'll see you next month for another installment of translation practice. Until then, bye bye. 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 Everybody, I'm、no. Shane. What? I'm no. Ho. I thought I'm going first. No. Oh yo. Hey, we've already repeated two times. The beginning is mixed up. Is is you first? Yes. Ha. Is that give me a chance? Ha. Go 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 go. Hey, welcome to English in Action. I'm Holly. Hey, everybody. I'm Shane. Today's topic is give me a chance. Ha. 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 Ha